Welcome back to Metroid Prime 2 Echoes! Echo! 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 Guess what it's time for, backtrack, backtrack. Oh, yay! So, uh, uh, we have a new thing to get, and a few expansions that we can pick up. Oh, nice. And the cool thing is, is that it's kind of interwoven into the critical path. I like that. With a little bit from the devs, a little bit from my own routing, it's all gonna it's all gonna fit together really nicely. Don't you like when it just it just all works? Oh, it's gonna be it's 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 gonna be good. And I'm okay with the backtrack episode. This just means we can just you know chill, talk about Metroid Prime Two Echoes. Oh yeah yeah yeah. Well, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna head to the Aegon Wastes. There's a couple of things there we gotta get. Do we have to use our uh, what is it called? The storm missile in Metroid Dread? The the storm missile? It, what is that called? The, the missile barrage? The, the seeker launcher? Seeker launcher? Well, in this game, yeah, seeker launcher. We'll, we'll need a combination of the seeker launcher and the boost ball and I guess the dark suit as well to get some of these. Oh, wow. So we're going to be jumping into the dark world is what we're I'm gonna, We're going to be uh, going all over the place. There's a lot to get here. I'm down. See, that, that's what I like about the setup of these Metroid games. They put a lot of stuff behind items that you need, and that's probably what made Metroidvania so popular to begin with. Oh, hey, you can't get here now? You'll get there later, no worries. Is that as if you remember to come back here? That's true. Because you might be so far ahead and so far powerful, you might not even think, oh yeah, I should go back there and go to the, go open that one door from that one place that I was at for the, two entire hours ago. For the one missile tank. <laughs> Who needs so it? we gotta get in there. That's where we're heading now. Should be pretty simple. It should be. Unfortunately, we can't climb. Might not be as simple as you think, though. God. Or maybe it will be. I don't know what you're thinking, so. Why can't Metroid climb? Jeez. Well, I mean, well, you've seen the Spider Ball tracks. We'll get that later, so. Spider Ball. Spider Ball. Spider Ball. Is there a power up that's been in Prime 2 Echoes only and then it never came back for any other game. How about the dark suit? Well, besides those. Besides <laughs> light beam, dark beam, and dark suit, possibly light suit later. Plenty. Because we're, we're, we're getting a lot of staples. We, you know, you talked about spider ball, you got uh, charge beam. Now, are there any specific to Prime 2 that just never showed up again? Plenty. Oh, okay. Darn it, I was hoping he'd, he'd throw out a secret weapon that we haven't seen yet. <laughs> I can be surprised. It's fine. Oh, you just need to just, just sit back and enjoy. <laughs> so, uh, do you remember uh, in the Dark Temple where the first key was? Uh, a little bit, yeah. And do you remember in the Light Temple where that one E-Tank was? Oh, okay, cool. New E-Tank. No, no, we, we, we've oh, already, right, right, right. We, we, we already got the E-Tank. I got you, I got you. Yes, I do remember. We had to do, like, those double bomb jumps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, oh. at the end of that corridor was a purple door. Hey! And we're gonna use it to open up a secret missile door. How about that? <laughs> I didn't think. <laughs> Condescending tone <laughs> to Metroid Prime 2. Oh my god! Wow! We're gonna, we're get gonna get open a fucking door! <laughs> <laughs> hold, on to your, hold on to your seats, folks! Holy shit, if I was a games journalist, that's how I'd open it up. Wow, Metroid Prime 2, you open a fucking door! <laughs> wow! So now we uh, get a little bit to where Metroid Prime Hunters was starting to take notes. Hmm. So, kinetic orb cannon, that takes us back up there to escape. Okay. Don't worry about that now. Yeah, I want to see the Prime Hunters. Got, whoa, whoa! Got a, 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 new, a, new, a new enemy right here that... What? What? And there it goes. Do, uh, a, a new... Uh, yeah, yeah! The Crayley! Dimension Warping Bioform. Dimension Warping Bioform. That sounds how, like you describe a final boss. It's a Dimension Warping Bioform. That's it, awesome. It's basically a roach that can appear out of this reality <laughs> in the next. So like actual roaches is yeah, what you're telling well, me. Well, yeah. You Except they're a bit more uh, direct about it. Can't kill the buggers. Oh! Very familiar looking half pipe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Little thing we can scan here. Also a, a cannon. And this will just take us up here. Woo! God, and Sam is going through high school. Hey, can you be a basketball? Hey, can you be a cannonball? <laughs> hey, <sighs> hey, can you be a tetherball? Ow. Got Ow. some lore for you. The Ow. stellar object. Let's hear about the stellar object. By the time we detected the stellar object as it streaked towards our world, it was too late to stop it. Oh. 
We fired numerous weapons at it in a vain attempt to alter its trajectory. Nothing worked. Our efforts have placed a great strain on the energy controllers and weakened ether. All we could do as the object drew closer was take shelter and wait. We gathered stores of food and water, reinforced the shielding on our dwellings, and spent the last hours in peace. Wow. So a meteor? It's probably another phase on meteor. Yikes. Except this time it fucked up so bad that it split the demen- it split the planet into two between dimensions! <laughs> Phase on be nuts, dude. So it's more than just space cancer. It's like time space <laughs> yeah, cancer. Time space cancer. <laughs> Jesus. So we, we we do that. A timer is being set now. That, that's Ooh, going. Okay. So we got to use that. Come yeah, on up here. Kerpow. We've already activated, so this takes a lot of time, and then we need to somehow maneuver ourselves to get up there, and then boom, got it. Perfect. It opens that up, and boosh. Oh. Did that break open? It did. Ah, oh, we had to use the big old fan now to break that a, open. We got a Dirk Purtle. <laughs> the Dirk Purr. Oh yeah, here we go. Here we go. Half pipe. It's gotta do oh, the yeah. Gotta do the half pipe. Oh yeah. Gotta do the half pipe. Oh yeah. Gotta do the half pipe. Oh, so rad, dude. Oh my god, you're so rad. Here we go. Got it. Don't have a cow, man. You got up there. Heck Boost. yeah. Over here. That's how I dropped down there. Oh. That Phew. makes a lot of sense. I thought we could just jump up there. Shows how much I know. Well, it moved up. We can't jump up there now. Into the dark world we go. I think this is like the second or third time Samus has been deatomized. She seems to be okay with it. Ah, uh, yes. Always fun to go into dark ether, where it's like, all right, now I'm gonna start hurting all the time. That seems like a clue. Oh great, I get to go into dark ether where I get to hurt all the time. Ow. Alright. Come up here. He uh, uh there's worms blocking that way out. Ew. Can't go that Ew, way. Ew, no, I don't like. I gotta go that way. Through that door. Who'd have thought a lot of doors would be blocked by the wildlife of dark ether? It's it's the ing keeping us from going places we shouldn't go. Shoot him, I guess. No, I Their one goal in life is to act like a concrete wall. <laughs> if we all join hands, but here we are, Ing. The, but we're here on the other on the other side uh, of that gate now. Oh, but there's no way to open the gate. I don't think. Well, that's okay. But that's okay. This is only a one-way trip, anyway. A one-way trip, and we can't open the gate. Ah. Uh. And all of that for all that for a missile expansion. Oh my god, it was. <laughs> uh, every time. Yep, every time. There's, I mean, there's a lot of them, and we we still got a lot to get. Oh. Well, it could be deceiving you. Cause that don't look like no missile expansion to me. Uh, what? Oh, hello. Is this a dark grapple beam? <laughs> Oh, is that a dark super missile I just the, saw? The dark oh! burst! Effectively a dark super missile! <laughs> it takes oh, five cool. missiles! What it doesn't tell you is that it takes 30 dark beam energy as well! Jesus! When you get that, a couple of pirates show up thinking that, oh, maybe you can try it out. Do you want to use it? Let's see! Fire! Wait, wait I mean, uh, what? Uh, fire! Uh, fi fi quit, fire? Get like you whiffed it! Oh, they're oh, mobile! come on! They're mobile! Oh, oh it all sucks! You want the hell? It Get out of here! Shut. Fuck Stupid off! Doing fucking pirate! <laughs> <laughs> you ruined it all! It was supposed to be fun and exciting, but you ruined it! You keep ruining okay, everything, you dang fucking pirates! That time it worked. Uh, Doesn't look like it took that... Oh, wait, did you just use a regular blast, or did you use a super missile? It was a regular blast. I only okay. used one dark blast. And that was enough to realize that it took 30 dark energy. That is an optional upgrade, though. You don't need to get that. It's okay. if you really need some more firepower and you're that desperate. But uh, I don't think we're going to be using it that often, no. No, I don't, I don't think so. Now we've got to make our way back. We have a dark burst, which means, technically, there should be a light burst. Well, you'd be right about that. Oh, missed you, opportunity to you know it Starburst. Because you know that if there is a dark something, there is always a light something. That's how this game works. <gasps> so if you see a dark X, there is a light X to accompany it. Yes. So yes, I guess I should say, there is indeed 
a light super missile. Oh, call it Starburst. Missed opportunity. Well, that's okay. You live and learn. So, this white door is where we're going now. Maybe when it gets ported, it'll call it the Starburst. What a shot! Perfect every time. I just gotta, like, scramble at her a little bit. Although, she does look pretty safe inside the ball. I think the Chozo suit- Hey, whoa! <laughs> whoa. <laughs> Ping! I boosted into one of those things that knocked me back. <laughs> Alright. Remember that, uh, sandy room with the two turrets? Well, right, yes I do. Right outside the save station over yes, here? Yes, That's where we're going next. Nice. Actually, this is where we fought Dark Samus. <laughs> yes, it was. It's still very much on fire. Shouldn't we deal with that? It just seems like a problem to have fire next to Phazon. I ain't got time to deal with that shit. We're fighting a war here. <laughs> you walk through the door. It closes. You hear... <laughs> you really hear the console loading on this one. <laughs> Does not like me going this way, it seems. Ah, come on, GameCube. You can do it. It's my Wii. Ah, come on, Wii. You can do it. The Wii's having trouble loading a GameCube game? It's just, you know, loading a lock is, you know... Oh, that's a good point. Oh, going back here. Gotta load all this, gotta load all that. Yeah, that that actually makes me wonder. Uh -huh. So, uh, all the Metroid games load different parts of the game at different times. I think Metroid Prime, it loads up to three rooms. That could be completely wrong, That, but that sounds like something it would do just to save on resources. Well, you notice that uh, there's a lot of hallways in Metroid Prime 1, and there's a lot of branching pathways in Metroid Prime 2. Oh, yeah. Probably because uh, they probably uh, made it so you can load uh, load more rooms, I guess. They uh, clarified it and printed it up and optimized it. That's the word, optimized. They optimized the loading for the system, I suppose, so you can load more rooms at a time, so you can have more complex maps, I'm guessing. Man. I really want to read a book about developers, you know, giving us their secrets on how they made games run. Well, there was a thread on Twitter that one of the developers was talking about Metroid Prime One. Oh some yeah. Some secrets there. Yeah, that yeah, that was that was a lot of fun. Oh wow. I, like, I completely like, missed that. It was like uh, about a month or two ago, I think. Dude, that sounds great. Oh, uh, uh, it was great. Just like little little, little secrets, little uh, little insider knowledge on some of the tricks they used to make it work so well. Did. Was there, like, a favorite of yours that broke through? Because I haven't read this yet. Uh, the static. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think, the, like, the static when your visor messes up. Uh -huh. I think that's, like, an actual, like... That's that, that's actual data from the game. Oh, screwing up? And they and they visualized it. <laughs> so that way it acts as a cheap 60 frames per second, easy... Oh, that's... Constantly, constantly running <laughs> static effect. That's cool. And it looked really convincing. Yeah, exactly. Oh, that's fantastic. Shortcuts like that make for good stories. Anyway, we're back here in the dark world for something else. Just makes me think of the Link to the Past dark world music. So S a bop. Now that we have the super missile, the, the regular ordinary super missile, we can now connect the two parts of Aegon Wastes. Ooh. Of dark Aegon or regular Aegon? Of dark Aegon, I mean. Okay. Oh, yeah, the super missile. We can go in here now. Kablooey! Basically connecting those two separate areas. We need to be in here especially because there is a missile expansion. Look at this open phase on! And look at the missile expansion sitting in that open hey, phase on. Dive right in, dude. Well, I right mean, right on we're on. no stranger to that. Bomb right here. And Wait, I really? I'm gonna How are you supposed to know that was a bombable spot? You can scan it. Oh! And there's also noticeable cracks in ow, there. Ow, 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 they give, they cut. They give you a little bit of a break, but ow, that hurts. Ooh. Ooh. You know, I honestly forgot that you could just scan things. <laughs> and not just lore and, and monsters. So I try to keep the uh, superfluous scans down to a minimum. I gotcha. Well, thank you for that, because... <laughs> I can just see myself going, scan this, scan that. Oh, hey, crack in the wall. Scan Rip. this, scan let's, that. Uh, let's uh, scan the more contextual ones and uh, the ones that count towards the logbook. Oh, let's see, scan my knee. Yep, that's a kneecap. Scan my foot. Yep, that's a foot. So we gotta make a weird little loop for this next one here. This uh, is for missile expansion, but the thing is, it's in the dark world. But the thing is, we can't get it from the dark world. We gotta get in there to, from the light world. Huh? 
Oh, he'll fi find oh, a portal guys, to jump guys, in. Guys, excuse me. Can you, can you just, just, can you just, yeah. just. All right, thank you. All right, so I got to step in the light world real quick, and then straight back into the dark world. And essentially, yes. Just do a swan dive right in there, dude. <laughs> <laughs> and it's good. Eight out of ten. Now about these war wasps. There's so many of them. Why do you need six? Three will do. Maybe the lumin. Are they the luminoths? What the war wasps? The no the uh, the moth people. Yeah, luminoths. The luminoths. Do you think they're secretly beekeepers as well? Like saving their fellow insects. I think they'd be beekeepers, not war wasp keepers. Well, maybe they were getting a specific war wasp honey, and you know all the beekeepers are dead now, so. So with little effort, you can get up to that ledge, but that's not the ledge we're going for. We're oh, going yeah, for yeah, that yeah. ledge up there, but and that takes a little bit of... Whoa. Little bit, oh, oh, that's going to take a little bit of... Yeah, I got to do, oh, do like the maximum come on, come up on, here. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come oh, on. Yeah, no, come on. Oh, wait, is that platform down there the indicator on when you need to boost? Like that brown part and all the blue? There, there probably are some visual cues that help you out. Interesting. Get up! No. Oh, so close! It's so close! Just a little more! Ooh, yes! Yeah! And here's that portal. This takes us to the exact same room in the Dark World, but there is a lip on this half pipe that prevents you from getting up there this way from the Dark World. Because on top of that lip, of course... It's a missile expansion. It is the <laughs> missile expansion! There we go. Perfect. Now we gotta make our way back. One way trip? It was a one way portal. Alright, that's fine. Woo. Have we actually been up there yet? Up where? Uh, on the other side of that ramp. No, we haven't. In the dark world? No, we haven't. Oh, well, okay. there's nothing on that other ramp, but uh, the light world, we haven't been there yet either. Ah. We should go there. Uh, hmm. I think we should, my friend. We should definitely go up there. Oh, wait, we weren't even that far away from the portal. <laughs> no, no. Just. G g excuse me. Can you get. Thank you. Alright. <laughs> What Maybe we shouldn't gather <laughs> around the light crystal. What do you mean we haven't learned from our past mistakes? <laughs> we didn't make any mistakes. There's nothing to learn from. What are you talking about? We're perfect all the time. <laughs> oh, the perfectionists not realizing their faux pas. I like how it scatters all over the place. Reminds me of the Mario 128 demo. What do you think it feels like? Hopefully not agonizing. I mean, this woman can mold herself up into a ball. I think being deatomized is kind of an okay feeling, maybe? Maybe it's a nice Luminoth way of doing it. Like it's a... Oh, do you... Okay. It doesn't hurt as bad, but it just feels like all tingly. I'm just thinking it's a... it's. The comparison is those lovely pillows that uh -oh. have cooling technology. Hey. And yep. See, you're making it work. It's not completely useless. <laughs> Never mind. And this is why this game is so much better. That's a to Torvis. This is the Torvis. Oh. Okay. We don't have to pass through the temple grounds again. Go back around because that's a load everything. We'd have to go through Magmore Caverns again. We'd have to pass through two different areas and go past a one way area. No, just a straight up elevator to Torvis. Where in Torvis? Well, maybe it'll be familiar when we get there. And hey. all of that because you have the storm missile. The Seeker Launcher. Seeker Launcher, excuse me. Ah, oh. ah, you're doing so well. Ah, ah. <laughs> Argle Fargle. There, there we there go. You. Uh, yeah, the, the secret launcher doors, when you open them, they're open forever. You don't have to... Oh, that's nice. We're here at the temple. Oh. So how about that? An elevator directly from Aegon Wastes to the Torvis Temple. That's cool. That is amazing. Hmm. Now we gotta go to Dark Torvis. Oh, well, okay. No, actually, that's fine. You still have plenty to do. We just, like, scratched the surface of Torvis last time we were here. And we gotta start, uh, digging deeper into it. Dive straight into the bog. 
There are still a couple of uh, expansions that we can get. Oh, you tease. Oh, no. Show me where they <laughs> are. <laughs> uh, I've since found a better way to deal with this guy, but man, he's just a punk. I hate this guy. Open activate him with the fuck. Uh, yeah. Yeah. This is the other way, though, so we have to get up here. And the Sporb is, of course, waiting for us, He's just gonna licking take his you. lips. He's gonna take you. Yeah, yep, there yep, he yep. Here he comes, here he comes, yeah, here he comes. Right. Avoid him, there avoid he him. Comes. And nope. God, that's obnoxious. Yeah, God, it is. Yes, it oh. is. Take me. Take me. Just, just take me. Just take, take me. I'll just eat. I'll just eat the damage. I don't care. I don't even care. Hate this room. Why did I come this way? Hey, you got him. Because it's convenient. Right. Okay. Oh yeah. Just wait till I get power bombs, motherfucker. You're gonna be dead. <laughs> wait, power bombs are the yeah. Of course they are. When are they not a thing? In the original Metroid. Oh. Okay. Oh well. And Metroid Two. Well, okay. Power bombs were added to Super Metroid. Interesting. A lot of things are added to Super Metroid. Oh. Wait. Like quality. <laughs> did uh, did Samus Returns have power bombs? Yes. Okay, so that was an addition for the remake, but not the original. Yeah, they didn't add anything else. Not at all. No, not at all. Didn't add a damn thing. Nope. Nope. Mm, didn't happen. Yep. Didn't happen. Nope. Not this time. Silly for you to think that they would add anything else to their remake. All right. To the portal. Hello. Hello. Portal. Take me. Time to get the cool, refreshing breeze of being deatomized. Ah. Oh. Ah, oh, sweet release. It's like combining the soothing bubbles of a jacuzzi and getting shot. <laughs> Do they cancel each other out, hopefully? I mean, you know, no, it just that's, like that's, that's, that's the best way to describe it, really. I can't I can't think of any other way. <laughs> it's just like, oh, yeah, yeah, right there, right there. <laughs> God! God! <laughs> Although, I feel kind of relaxed. Uh, or maybe it's just the the sting when it first happens, and then it gently like massages you back. It's like, oh, okay, okay, yeah, yeah, I, I get, okay, I understand this. Light crystal dummy. There you go. Don't you love uh, <laughs> criticizing your past self? So you use the light in the dark, except for for those ones where you use the dark in the dark, but then you use the light in the dark when you use the dark in the light. But then we just. I think my favorite. It's part, a little confusing. Okay. I think my favorite part is when I was actually recording post commentary, and I was like, "What are you doing?" <laughs> There was our third uh, temple key up there, if you didn't see it. I did. But Excellent. we have no way to get it yet, because it's too far. What? But this is also where the temple is. Hmm. Hmm. Through that white door is the temple. But we don't need to go in there yet. Got some stuff to do! Still, still a little too soon. Still a little too soon. Ooh, a blue pickup. No, we gotta make our way over to this, uh black door over here. Haven't we been in here already? Yes, we have. Oh, okay. But, uh, but remember I said there was a door we were going to come back at later? <laughs> it's time to go through that door. It's What's time. up? What is up? I'm keeping you guessing, and you don't even know what we're going to get. I don't, actually. You don't. It's something you need. Something I need. Something you need. Something we all need, especially in this fucking game. Another missile tank. No, we got we got, we got plenty of those. <laughs> Damn it. We're good. At, we're good on those for a while. I'm just waiting for the time where you're like, okay, are you ready for the best item in the game? Another E tank. Let's get rid of this motherfucker. No more. Hey, look at all that data. It might be the same trick. Hey, all right. I would hope they would use the same trick twice. Hey, okay. saves on memory. See, I hate it. Just sometimes it just goes, no, uh didn't count. There it goes. There we go. All right. Now I can take care of this seeker missile door without any interruptions. Uh, it's really ding. hard because it's really hard to take one of these things out when there is a tentacled thing trying to get your backside the whole time. Nipping at your butt. But it's all worth it for a beam expansion. Uh, uh, oh, OK, worth it. Definitely worth it. Now yes. we have 150 dark and light beam ammo. Woo! Doesn't, oh, it didn't doesn't even refill it yeah, for us. Yeah, it didn't us, even refill you to full. Pricks. What a jip. Yeah, that's, that's nice and lovely. But you know what? This is still good because we we still now have more than we did. Ah! We still had more than we did. And this is why Metroid Prime 2 Echoes is one of the worst sequels I've ever oh, played. Oh, come on. Get ah! up there. What are, you, what are you doing to yourself? Get up there, man. <laughs> Samus, work with me. 
you just... Okay, okay. All right. Come on. Okay. There, come on. It's not that hard. It actually looked like something was pushing you down. Did it's I see that right? Just awkward physics. Oh, okay. It's just, just, it's just tough. All right. Well, we now have all the uh, expansions uh, we we can really get right now, which you know, ending in a beam expansion can't be a bad thing. No. Did good. We'll be back for that key later. We gotta find the second key while we're at it too. Hmm. I have a feeling we're gonna be done with Torvus before I know it. Well, um, maybe. We'll see. And that's because the second key is right here. Damn. Yeah, wow, wow. Okay, maybe Niskeldamus needs a break. Re out. Re rest those brains. How about uh, we just... <laughs> how, how about we go to the place that opened up down there? Hey, I'm down for that. Because the big trick that they wanted to pull on us is that we get down to that big open area, and then realize we can't do anything until we get the purple seeker launcher. And then the hint system uh, generously comes in and says, Hey, guess where you gotta go? Hey, 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 time to do some backtracking. I'm but just... I already called it out, so I didn't have a chance to give you the hint system. Now I'm ahead of the game! I'm just glad and didn't pull the shit. Like, why didn't you think to pick this up that you clearly didn't know about, idiot? Well, okay. If you want to be that way. Ooh. What are we getting in here? We're heading or... back to the temple. Oh, okay, perfect. <laughs> God, I hate but this I'm going back. I'm, I'm going the way that doesn't lead to that splorb. But... <sighs> whatever. <laughs> Screw it. Thought that his wings would freeze as well, but nope, he's smart. Gravity takes hold of those. What a lovely tree. I know. Nice, lovely rain. Where am I? It's a big, long, big op open rooms here. A little confusing. Let's see. Where am I going? You definitely meant to do that. Nope, that's the portal other door. And is this the yeah, big exactly. loop you were talking about? Or good routing? Well, yeah, because we're going to... Right wind, here. Right here is the temple. There's a sport room. Very nice. I gotta go before he eats me. Quick, me. quick. There we go. He got his tongue out. I saw it. <laughs> he was thinking. He was a thinking ball. it. Ooh. And we made our way back to underneath the temple. Amazing. Fantastic routing, my dude. And now we can go forward. Straight into the goop. Straight into this super <laughs> missile door. Oh. So you think, ha, I just got the super missile, that means this is the way to go. But S no, no, Save young grasshopper. That, oh, it's another another elevator, really? We're going deeper into into the Torvus Temple. Oh, my This is God. the part that's sunken underwater. Oh, no, I don't want to go down here. No, you don't want to go down no, here. I don't want to go down here. You don't want to go down here, because now we're getting to the wateriest part of the water level. Okay, well, we had to get here eventually, so... It, it is a temple submerged into the bog. It is quite literally <laughs> oh, a water, water temple. temple. Oh, no. There's no hookshot to save you here. Oh, uh, no. Yep, there's all the water. Yep. Okay. Well, well, we'll save that for next time, but for now, let me, uh give you a little bit of a silver lining. All right. Down there is where the level begins, basically, but we can start by going up here on these platforms. Yup. Yup. Oh, please tell me we have a suit upgrade. And then, yup. Oh, no, not a suit upgrade. Something a bit more uh, important than that. Save room? A save room! Yes! Uh, of course. Okay, well, I guess we're literally diving in next time. Yep, we are going to literally dive into the Underwater Temple next time on Metroid Prime 2 Echoes. And it's going to... this th this is not fun. <laughs> this is not fun. I'm not going to lie to you. It is not fun. Okay, but, uh, well, well... While I got your attention, why don't we check out how the, what that Dark Burst looks like with yeah. some consequence-free ammo expulsion. Ooh, it makes a black hole appear! Okay, Man, that's awesome. That, yep, that'd be pretty awesome if it could fucking lock on to anything. I was about to say, if it didn't whiff, it would be the perfect weapon. Oh yeah, perfect. Well, see you next time.